Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on what distracting a service dog means. The best way I thought of explaining distractions is imagine if you're taking a test that can determine your future. You want to make sure that test comes out perfect. So if you have someone else taking the test with you and they're saying, hey, hey, look over here, look over here, look at me. Or things like, oh, how pretty are you? And shouting across the room your name. <sighs> I mean, most likely you're not going to do too well on that test. So that's kind of the same thing with a service dog. If you are distracting them, talking is a huge distraction. Hi, doggy. Oh, aren't you so pretty? Well, hello there. Or stuff like, mom, there's a dog. A dog, mom. I love dogs. These are distractions. The easiest way, I, like I said, is like if you're taking a test. That is going to distract you a lot. Same thing with service dogs. They're going to watch you. They're going to look at you and think, what the heck are you doing? Um, touching a service dog. Um, most people, most handlers and family members can know that Touching a service dog is a big no. Touching is ten times worse than talking sometimes. Um, I have had people just walk up behind me while I'm doing something and just stick their hand out, not even saying anything, just like sneak up behind me and start petting them. And she Sometimes she will ignore them, but that throws everything off. She is very sensitive to touch and she does not always respond well. I mean, she doesn't bite or, I mean, she really all she does is sometimes she jumps a little bit because she's unexpected. I mean, same thing if you were to touch someone else in the store, they're not expecting you to do that. <sighs> um, I mean, sneaking up behind someone and touching the service dog while they're working, who, who does that? I mean, Children, I understand that, but but adults or anyone else like that, I mean, that is just rude and childish. Um, I mean, that I had someone do that a few days ago, and it threw the rest of her day off. She would not listen to me. It just made her... <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. She was just distracted. She kept looking over her shoulder, would not pay attention to me. She would not look at me. She would not do any of her commands. She would not get closer to me. Um, and she would not heal at my side. She was pulling on the leash. She wanted to get out of that environment as soon as possible. She did not want to sit. She did not want to stay. She did not want to listen because she got, she was distracted. And in order, even just for a split second, things like that, I mean, it throws off her. She can easily miss an alert. Thank God she did not miss an alert. Hey. Sorry. So, I just wanted to say that, um... Distracting a service dog, I mean, touching, talking, petting, anything like that. Um, actually, on her le her service dog leash, that is like the no hands leash that wraps around you like a sash. Um, we have taken like, oh, I forget what they're called, but it goes like a sleeve that goes over the leash. And it says service dog, no touch, no talk, no eye contact. That is something that everyone needs to know. Eye contact. You staring at someone is a distraction, just especially if someone is a dog. I mean, sorry to make no sense, but you probably understand what I mean. Like I said before, in the test scenario, if you are in a room with someone and they are glaring at you, just smiling, like, oh, how pretty, or just staring without saying a word, you're going to look at them and be like, what is wrong with you? Same thing in this. You have to think, these are working animals. These are working dogs. You distracting them is very, very big. <sighs> I'm sorry that I kind of cut off topic, I think, maybe a little bit, but... Uh, 
it's nice to get that off my chest because it's very frustrating. I mean, especially family members. Family members will do that just as much as strangers will do it. Well, they think, oh, well, we're family members and we're relatives, so we can pet her. But we're not going to distract her, staring at her, standing right on top of her. And, oh, hi, doggy. And, really? I mean, I mean, people don't understand how big of a deal it can be. So I'm going to stop myself from going on for another half an hour. I'll let you guys go. See ya.